What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's JJ. This highlight video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company, the perfect place to cater your team's next event. It's deja vu all over again at Clark Field on Thursday. St. Anthony hosting Los Amigos, the team they beat in the quarterfinal round last year. Third straight trip to the quarters for St. Anthony, trying to get back to the semifinals and final like they did last year, hoping for more heroics from Alexis Weiser, just like last year. Early on, the junior was just marauding the left flank. Saints enjoying the lion's share of possession in this one. First good scoring opportunity comes in the second minute off the corner kick. Holly Bushelman's service is on point, but the deflection is just wide of goal. Both teams playing a high line, getting that AR to put his flag up in the air sometimes. Four times in the first 10 minutes for offsides, seven times in the first half, and we're still nil-nil. Early in the second half, Bushelman up to Weiser, and the junior has got a go. Oh, sometimes the bar eats you. Lobos with a golden opportunity as well in the 55th minute. Ariana Figueroa to the far post. Just wide. Frustration building for both sides. We're going to overtime tied nil-nil just like St. Anthony did in the semifinals on this same field last year. Again, Saints on the front foot in overtime. Sophia Goldschmidt with the cross. Emily Porter just can't steer at home. We go to the other side a few minutes later. Another at cross. Another chance for Figueroa. Again, just wide going back and forth. Goldschmidt into Porter. Again, the header sails high. Head and hands all over the place. We got to go to the PKs to figure this thing out. Junior Alexa Gallardo going to be up first for St. Anthony. She neatly tucks it into the corner, putting the home team up. Senior Cassandra Campbell in goal for St. Anthony. Her first year in the position, filling in for injuries and Boy, did she step up. Maria Salgado up first for Los Amigos. Campbell gets to it, but it sneaks past for 1-1. Bushelman up for the Saints. She has enough power to get through the goalkeeper as well. Then Viviana Flores for the Lobos. That ties the shootout 2-2. How about senior Melissa Lopez? Opens up and buries it. Gives the Saints the 3-2 lead. Natalie Gomez for the... Oh, Lobos sent wide. So it's 3-2 St. Anthony still with the shooter coming up. It's Mia Garcia, but that's off the bar. Oh, the senior shows the weight of the moment here. It's still 3-2. Myra De La Cruz up for the Lobos. The lefty, Campbell is mm -mm good. Huge stop for the senior. Shake it off, shake it off. And St. Anthony couldn't pick a better player to send up for the fifth attempt. It's lucky number 13. Wiser calmly steps to the spot. And this go is an ultra light beam. Winner, winner, going back to the semis dinner just like she did in that PK shootout from that exact same spot last year to send the Saints to the final. They are now a legit program that are going back to the semis for the second straight season. The celebration commences on Clark Field yet again. These Saints are rolling. Unfortunately, they will have to go on the road for the semifinals to take on Grace Brethren, the team that beat them in the final last year. But for now, they're going to soak this one up and enjoy the 4-2 PK win. Thanks as always to all of our sponsors, including Long Beach Transit, who has stops on Route 1 at CSU Dominguez Hills, South Bay Pavilion, and the StubHub Center. Stick with us. All of that local soccer action, including the semifinals next Tuesday, are going to be right here. Your home for everything local sports, GazetteSports.com and the Press Telegram.